So I got this one from Best Buy. I think it was like $27.99. I can tell you for sure there is a ding in it. They, they just ship their, their steel books and their metal packs, you know, so cheaply. And uh, I don't know why they went with a metal pack on this. Uh, I'm curious if maybe because Steelbook wouldn't do that or Steelbook's more expensive um, or what. But uh, it seems like embossed. I wasn't expecting that at all. Um, Ash vs. Evil Dead, the com first complete first season, season premiere October on Stars, season two, uh, Best Buy limited edition middle pack, offer valid while supplies last. Everything longtime fans could hope for, gloriously gruesome and rare horror comedy. Ash vs. Evil Dead, a ten episode half hour series. Wait, ten episodes only last a half hour. I didn't know this had a 30 minute runtime. Oh, each episode is a half hour, okay. <laughs> In the long awaited follow up to the classic horror film, The Evil Dead. Well, I mean, there was The Evil Dead 2, Bruce Campbell vs. The Army of Darkness, and The Evil Dead Remake. <laughs> Who wrote this thing? The series is executive produced by Sam Raimi. Robert Tappert and Bruce Campbell, the original filmmakers, and Craig De Greg Gregorio, who served as executive producer and showrunner. Campbell reprises his role as Ash, a stock boy, aging Lothario and chainsaw handed monster hunter who has spent the last 30 years avoiding responsibility, maturity, and terrors of the evil dead. When a deadite plague threatens to destroy all of Mankind, Ash is finally forced to face his demons, personal and literal. Destiny, it turns out, has no plans to release the unlikely hero from its evil grip. <sighs> the cast also introduces Lucy Lawless as Ruby, a mysterious figure who believes Ash is the cause of the evil outbreaks. Ray Santiago as Pablo Simon Bolivar, an idealistic immigrant who becomes Ash's loyal sidekick. Dana DeLorenzo as Kelly Maxwell, a moody wild child trying to outrun her past. And Jill Marie Jones as Amanda Fisher, a disgraced Michigan State trooper, set to find our anti-hero Ash and prove his responsibility in this grisly murder in the grisly murder of her partner. Ivan Ramey serves as co-executive producer and Aaron Lamb and Chloe Smith serve as producers. That was extremely important for us to know. Special features audio commentary on all episodes. By who, I don't know. Inside the World of Ash, How to Kill a Deadite, and Best of Ash. Uh, total runtime of 294 minutes, so it's got to be a little bit less than 10 minutes, or 30 minutes each, because that'll be 300 minutes. So let's crack this. Let's crack it open. Let's crack it. Crack it. Crack it. Bust it, cut it, rip it, open it, open it. If I can successfully cut through the plastic. Should have a chainsaw for this. Seems like the right tool for the job. Um, any big Evil Dead fans out there? Not a huge Evil Dead fan. All right, in case you guys, so you can see my dent. Oh, it's Best Buy. In case you guys uh, aren't sure, kind of one of the main differences here between a steel book and a metal pack. This the side never looks good on a metal pack. In the steel books, you have that cool plastic insert. It looks so clean, and then on the metal pack, you have the exposed hinges and such. So let's pull this J card off. It looks like it's like permanently attached. God, can't even. <sighs> Why did they do this? All right. Oh, jeez. <sighs> oh my gosh. They do not want you taking this thing off of there. They don't want you to expose that mechanical hand. I guess that's a. Spoiler alert, he has a mechanical hand, it looks like. So, uh, he doesn't always wear the chainsaw now. 
Well, would you even need to wear the chainsaw? You just hold a chainsaw. There's the back, mechanical hand and such. All right, let's check out the inside. Oh, the stupid G card. What? It has a perforation, and I ripped it apart. Sound of that. What the heck is going on? I don't know. This thing's pile of junk. All right. We just have an ad here for some shows. Two disc set. There's actually different artwork here. There's punching. There's waving his chainsaw around like a madman. See the cast. I don't know. There's a couple things here that are really making me angry. Something on this is catching when I try when you open it. Not sure what. It's kind of cool though. Perforated chainsaw. Dent included. I don't know why they did this. The stupid thing ripped apart. Like, but it's perforated. They want you to rip it apart. They wanted you to leave this part on. I don't want that. I don't know. I don't know what they were thinking with this whole thing. <laughs> Alright guys. I don't know. What do you guys think of this thing? I mean, I kind of like the look. But, there's some things they definitely did wrong with this. And, for the price, I don't know. I might just stick with the regular version if I was you. It looks pretty cool too. I wonder how hard these are going to be find. Let me know if you guys uh, go out there looking for it. I'd love to know how hard they're going to be to find. Um, I probably won't be going out today. Uh, so thanks, you, thanks to you guys for watching and supporting my videos. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe for more videos. And I'll see you guys next time.